Mr. Ahmed Khabou. What a pleasure it is to meet you here in Tunis in your hometown, Hamamed, right? Yeah, yeah. You will be one of the speakers at the Nexus conference waiting for the barbarians. Uh, we will address two questions at the conference. The first is how come there are still barbarians? Uh, the second is um, how civilized is Western society? Now, to introduce you to the audience, could you please tell us a little bit more about yourself? Who are you? What's your background? What are you doing? My academic background is uh, philosophy. I did philosophy for language in the University of Reading. And then uh, I did the master's degree in Islamic studies at uh, SOAS. Uh, in philosophy, I've studied Wittgenstein. So uh, I did um, uh, a short study of Berkeley, and also uh, I worked on Ibn Taymiyyah, uh, who is one of the main authorities uh, in what is described right now the Salafi groups of radical Islam. Uh, after that, uh, I did a, uh, my master's degree at SOAS, and uh, the the issue I worked on is Qital, that is fighting or war in Quran. And um, the main reason for me to uh, work or to shift from philosophy to Islamic studies is that I was thinking, I said, when I would be able to come back to Tunisia, because uh, I was not able to come before you were the revolution. In exile, right? Yeah, I was in exile. I said that uh, our problem will not be uh, conflict with uh, what we might call the seculars. It will be rather with uh, those youngsters who will uh, adhere to Islam. So uh, I need to have tools which will enable me to uh, involve in discussion. So can you tell us more about these tools you found to prevent maybe youth? For example, also um, kids in the UK, in the Netherlands, in Belgium, as you know, people are astonished that they will go to fight for Islamic State. Um, how co what's wrong with Western society that people will go there and how can we prevent it? Western civilization, part of it, part of it, is, is part of this uh, radical way of seeing the truth, that is the two values truth, the Aristotelian values, that is, it, you are either true or wrong, mm -hmm. there is no third value for the truth. This is also one of the issues. The other issue is that even in the West, there are, uh, there is a crisis of values, because the West is now shifting away from the values of the 17th and 18th century, the humanities and uh, that the human is, uh, is sacred, the uh, private sphere, the office, the crisis, the economic crisis, the war which is being waged right now, it is, it is bringing a reality which does not validate the values, whether political values or uh, ethical values of the West. And this also uh, push people away from uh, coherently living in the West. Uh, so we do have a, a, a universal problem which is uh, not only in our country and not only in Europe, not only in, in the US. It is, I think, a universal value which all of us, we need to work together so that uh, we are in consistency with our values. Our everyday life is not contradicted with uh, values of politics, the values of the market, the values of uh, conflict, how do we uh, manage conflict. Um, we're in Tunisia now, where the Arab Spring started. People were very hopeful, they thought we will have democracy now, tolerance, equal rights, etc. Et so what has what's happened to the Arab Spring? We are still struggling, but I think we are building new we could say new values and they are new because they are different from what the oppressive regime used uh, what is different is that it, do, it does not tolerate opposition it does not tolerate difference you could say now we can see that those who would have been 
enemies before are working together and they are even partners at the same government, within the same government. I think in Tunisia, we do still have hope for a success of what we might call a peaceful revolution. And this, if we are successful in it, we will do a breakthrough because one of the definitions of revolution is that it is a legitimate way of using violence. The main values of the Tunisian revolution is that it is a peaceful revolution. So we need a success story. We, if I can use the term badly, need a success story which has different values. Those values of democracy and freedom, freedom and uh, people who can live together while they are different. And as you can see, we are in a very beautiful country. You have the sea here, you came as tourists here. I personally am very happy to have you here. And I would like really to have the image of our country in this beautiful image. Yeah, hope that so. so, thank you, Ahmed. Forward to seeing you in the Netherlands on the 14th of November for the Nexus Conference. Thank you.